everybody. So I wanted to share some of the art trading cards that I've made recently, which I've kind of been on an art trading card kick, and lately I've been using a lot of sticker collages and other kid-like art to make my uh, art trading cards. And if you guys follow my blog, www.mirandarussell.com, you'll have already seen some of these. But I decided I want to make a video to show you guys some of the ones I've made recently. So the first one I have is this one, which is a Girl Scout themed art trading card. And I like the way it turned out. I like the way that the overlay of the different kind of badge stickers turned out. I really like that. And then uh, we have this Under the Sea one, which reminds me a lot of The Little Mermaid for obvious reasons, if you guys know the movie. And then we have this Happily Ever After one, which I think is really cute. I love the frogs on that. And then we have this kind of uh, pony one, which I just thought was really cute. And I like how the decoration here really kind of adds to the, to the picture. And then uh, these are some images from it's uh, Sesame Street's uh, interpretation of Alice in Wonderland. So you have the Cookie Monster as the Cheshire Cat and the Count as the Caterpillar. And I really liked both of those characters, so I decided to make a card with them. And then this is another one that I made with the same two characters. And then this is also from the Sesame Street uh themed stuff and i just i like the way it looks with the alice in wonderland book and the little timepiece and the key and then i just added some extra kind of torn up uh stickers to add a little bit of extra visual interest and then this is uh obviously palace pets inspired and i do i i like to combine my love of kids characters with my love of making art trading cards uh this is a minions inspired one, which I don't know if you can tell because it's obviously very abstract and torn apart, but maybe you can tell there that that's a Minions eye, but that's Minions inspired. And then here's another Minions inspired one, and this one obviously was for Halloween. You got the Minion in the cauldron, and I like the little spider that's added up here. And of course I do all the custom backgrounds. And then this is a Popple themed art. And I thought, when I saw some Popple stickers, I was like, well, I have to do something with them because I loved Popples when I was a kid. And then this is another Popple themed art trading card, which I think is really cute. Uh, this is another Palace Pets themed art trading card. And sometimes I do just take a bunch of the stickers and just make a collage out of them like these. And I do like the way they turn out. Uh, this is just a fairy tale unicorn and fairy inspired piece. Uh, this is a Peanuts pig pen piece, obviously, and I like the way it turned out. I, I did the background just mainly to look like a bunch of dust and dirt, and I think it turned out well. And then we have this princess-inspired one, and it says map to princess. I like that. It's kind of cute. And then the princess here and the glass slipper with the background of all the butterflies and everything. Uh, this was using a couple of stickers that I got from Jekyll Hyde Club in our Halloween exchange, and I decided to make a card out of them, and I like the way it turned out. Uh, Mickey and Minnie themed one, sweet treats, so obviously a little bit Halloween themed too, and they're in costume. Uh, this one is obviously not quite like the others, it's more of a magazine inspired uh, collage, but I liked the wolves. And I like the hunger, so I decided to combine them into a piece. And this was another magazine-inspired one, which just I took a few different things and put them together. And then uh, one of my Wacky Pack cards got kind of the uh, outside of the card got really messed up, so I decided to use the sticker for something, and I just decided to make it into an art trading card. This one, obviously not very hard to make or very special or anything, but I had to do something with the sticker, so I decided to do that. And then I have two other ones here which have, like, puffy stickers, and I like the way this one turned out with the, uh, little dragon and everything, and I think he's really cute, and I like the Once Upon a Time sticker. And then this is obviously a Frozen Anna-inspired art trading card with puffy stickers. And I like the way it turned out, too. I think it turned out pretty good. So those are some of the art trading cards I've been making recently. And I've been really enjoying doing this. It's something that I do in my spare time that kind of keeps me busy and it's just fun to do. 
it's fun to try to come up with different kind of creative things to do with the art trading cards, especially with all the stickers and stuff, which I like to collect and try to use in some way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to check out my blog because I do post a lot of, about my art and other things. So if you want to follow me there, it's www.mirandarussell.com. A uh, link is always in the video description. And there's also a link in the video description to my eBay if any of you want to find any of these and maybe purchase them, which they'll be probably posted for sale tomorrow or the next few days, these ones that I'm showing you right now. And I always start them off pretty cheap, like 99 cents, and then just see what they go for. But it's fun to do, and they make great bookmarks. So even if you don't collect ACEO art trading cards, if you like to read a lot and you use bookmarks, you can use some of these for that. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you later. So bye!